Previously on Alan Wake. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After saving my wife from the mysterious dark presence, I found myself trapped in the dark place. Imagination can be the enemy here. A nightmarish world that exists somewhere beyond the shores of our own existence. We're the one making all this happen. Just do what Zane tells you. Follow the signal. Is all this really coming out of my head? The dark place is playing tricks on you. I made my way across its ever-shifting landscape, trying to reach Thomas Zane. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You're still going deeper. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Really, Wake? Really? Your delusions are out of control. Oh, get out of my head. Seriously, Al? You need to get a grip. You know reality's different here. See what I mean, Al? Al? Ugh. I think I'm stuck on this side. Well, you're gonna have to find your way out of there. I'll wait. Remember, you're still in the dark place. You know that, right? I'll alarm you, pal, but it's simple as swim time. I could feel the pressure mounting. Barry was right. Time was running out. Everything I saw was a dark, twisted version of reality based on my memories and thoughts. this was from my mind, then I was the one making all this happen. I was literally fighting myself. It was a moment of clarity. After finishing departure, I felt finished myself. All I had wanted was to save Alice. After that, a part of me had been ready to just give in and die. But I hadn't given up. Thomas Sane had reached me. I had run across a nightmarish landscape following a signal from him. He kept telling me I was sinking, going too deep. I wasn't sure if he meant the dark place or insanity. Perhaps they were one and the same. Huh. Let's face it, we always knew this was coming. I guess, but I actually feel pretty rational, all things considered. Crazy people don't know they're crazy. That's where they're crazy. Hey, check out the light show behind the lodge. That's Zane's light. Yeah, you're done sinking now. That means he's just about caught up with you. You better go talk to him. Fireworks here. Nice. Wake heard the old gods play. Music came 
This is just a memory. Even your memories are complicated. Uh, yeah. So, I guess you're gonna need to talk to Zane out there now that he's actually here. I'm just gonna, you know... Zane, you have done well, Alan. Now I can accompany you. You are trapped in your own dream. You must wake yourself up, but first, you have to reach yourself. The cabin. Yes, my cabin. It will not be easy. Your previous work can help you. I still have some pages of your manuscript left. Words like that have power here. of your mind that are hard to control. This is not a fight anyone else can win for you. I was glad to have Zane with me in this place. He needed to be such as it was. But a part of me wondered if he was even human anymore, after so many years in this place. It's very appropriate. I can help you reach it. But after that, you will be on your own. I cannot enter the cabin now. The Dark Presence made sure of that on our last encounter. 
You are facing yourself, the parts of your mind that are hard to control. This is not a fight anyone else can win for you. I was glad to have Zane with me in this place. He knew the terrain such as it was, but a part of me wondered if he was even human anymore after so many years in this place.
Stay focused on the lighthouse. If you can reach it, you will find the cabin. Things are getting pretty crazy here, Zane. It's to be expected. You are struggling to reclaim yourself. The landscape reflects that strain, but each step takes you closer. If you persevere, you can attain the lucidity that fends off the darkness. Now that I knew what I was facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger. Like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal.
something in the wheel. Oh, now what?
can't stop sanity. You're doing well. Keep going. It's hard to make sense of this place. It's a dream. This is a vast place. Home to forces and beings that are completely alien. The Dark Presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the dark place, I haven't found a way. Stuck in gas station. Not something I particularly wanted to see, but obviously I wasn't the one in the gas. Another memory made real. Blake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In him. His own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to. At least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. There was no power to the law of life.
The part of you that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. I don't think I like that. You represent the part of Alan Wake that is capable of rational thought and planning, which is why I'm talking to you. If that part can regain control, then you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait, are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? I am not the author of your story. How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was me. And you needed the clicker. But I am not. What? I don't understand. Ellen, you should keep going. Zane? Zane, come on! Well, that cleared things up. the foolish mistake I made with Barbara.
Wake ran for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. Even with the light gone, all I could do was keep going. Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough, I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious. The car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor impulse control. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Harmon, I... I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but, well, um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You've put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? You refused my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Why don't we find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male drama until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance and self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch! All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. The only thing that keeps me from killing myself is the hope that I'll never see you again. Ouch. I... I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has left. I... I think this is a breakthrough, Alan. I'm really very proud of you. It was nonsense. I knew I had saved her. I'd succeeded in that, and that was all that mattered.
What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough, I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious, the car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor impulse control. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Harmon, I... I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but, well, um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You've put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? You refused my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Why don't we find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. Come now, Mr. Wake. It wouldn't be guilt that makes you avoid this, is it? Come on, let's hear what she has to say. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male drama. Until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance and self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch! All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. The only thing that keeps me from killing myself is the hope that I'll never see you again. Ouch. I... I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has left. I think this is a breakthrough, Alan. I'm really very proud of you. 